Hello family, this is Greg coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. I want to ask you, has anyone out there ever prayed and had a prayer go unanswered? I, I can lift my hand to that um, statement. Um, and after you prayed sincerely from his word and your prayer went unanswered, have you taken the time to find out why? So many of us, we just, there's a reason why things don't work, particularly if you're praying according to his word. 1 John 5, 14 tells us that this is, the, this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desired of him. So the breakdown wasn't on his side of the fence. The breakdown was on our side of the fence. So on those occasions when we pray and we don't get the answer, or we don't get an answer that we prayed for, do you take the time to pull him aside and ask him why, what happened? Or do you just continue on um, attributing it to it being God's will and, and not finding out what the problem was? Um, that's not how we treat life in general. When things don't work, man is very curious. We want to know why. Why didn't this work? This is supposed to work. This is a law. This is, we see this. Jesus guaranteed me basically this answer. But for whatever reason, it, it, it didn't work. I want to read from Matthew chapter 17. It's the recounting of a man coming to Jesus for Jesus to cast a demon out of his son. Now previously, this, the, the, the man with the son came to the disciples and the disciples couldn't cast the demon out. So here in these verses, Matthew 17, 14, is the recounting of that same man coming to Jesus to cast the demon out. Starting at verse 14, it says, And when they came to the multitude, a man came up to him, falling on his knees before him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic, and he is very ill, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples, and they could not cure him. And Jesus answered and said, O unbelieving and perverted generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked him, and Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him, and the boy was cured at once. And then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could not we cast it out? And he said to them, Because of the littleness of your faith, for truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it shall move, and nothing shall be impossible to you. The verse I want to center on is verse 19, um, which says, then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, why, can, why could not we cast it out? I'd like to stress that Jesus' disciples were the most, they were the most practiced at casting out demons up until that time. They were the most experienced at casting out demons. This was nothing new to them. They had done this before, but for whatever reason, it didn't work this time. Now, instead of surmising or blaming sin or doing a multitude of things they could have um, done to attribute the fact that it didn't work this time, notice they went to Jesus. They pulled him aside and they say, now this is supposed to work. It's worked before. Tell us why it didn't work this time. So I want to encourage you that if you've had something go haywire, or go sideways in your life, pull him aside and ask him. He's not a secret keeper. He's more than willing to share his word, share his heart, share his desire, and have that intimacy with you. Take the time to pull him aside and say, Lord, this is supposed to work. It's worked for me in the past. Tell me, share with me why it didn't work this time. Um, and you'll grow from that event. You'll get closer to God in that event. And you'll go on with a, with a conclusion 
to your prayer rather than guessing or rather than having that particular episode in your life go unsolved or unresolved. So I want to leave you with that today. I hope that encouraged you and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.